Let's see if the audio is fixed this time. Shit was annoying. Which one? They might have to go with that one. I don't even think I have video of it yet. Take these off. I usually ride with glasses. Got the original key. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Let me get out of this mess. been on this bike in a while it's comfortable very comfortable it'll take I don't want to ride it too hard right now it's still cool I was gonna say it takes off but I don't want to ride it too hard like while it's still cool it's not cold but it's not to the recommended temperature or whatever kind of wondering how the camera uh, angle is on this because it's even in the mirror yeah, this bike is comfortable though. Hey! <laughs> so I can get on it now. Oh, uh, yeah, I can get on it now. Woo! This boy takes off. I like this bike. Um, the only thing is, I can't figure out, everything works fine. But for some reason, whenever the fan is turned on, not, not necessarily when it's hot, because I could turn it on manually just by shorting out the contact. But once it's turned on, then the bike idles low. I measured it with the multimeter, and I also saw that the voltage drops by one, I mean, it drops by one volt, which is weird. I tested it. It's not the wire harness either. I mean, unless there's a short, but I wouldn't see why. There can't be a short because I wired it directly to the battery also just to see, just to make sure it wasn't anything else. It's trying to like pinpoint what the problem was. Like I'm right, it's, everything's working fine right now. It's really just the fan. I, I wired it directly to the battery. It did the same thing. And I tried another fan that I had just lying around from a different bike. That didn't do anything. Like it ran fine. It didn't idle low or anything. So I thought it was the fan. I bought a, a used fan, another um, for this bike. Another fan. Yeah! And I thought that was the problem. I got I hooked it all up, put it back together, and of course, it's doing the same shit. And it can't be a coincidence, like, that that fan is also broken. Like, what are the chances of that? So. I, then I was thinking maybe it was the regulator, voltage regulator on this bike. Most bikes, it's, it's integrated with the rectifier. So I was thinking it was the regulator, RR rec regulator rectifier. And so I swapped that out. I put a MOSFET in. Can't really go wrong with those. That didn't work. Actually, the, the regulator that I had in there was pretty good. Like it was, it was going, it was running as good as a MOSFET. Well, I mean, probably not as good because MOSFETs don't really produce any heat but it was working fine <clears throat> so I just trashed a good come on I trashed a good regulator I mean it was original though so really old original and this is a I think one of the videos I said this was an 87 this is actually an 85 85 700 Magna I like this bike. The only thing that's pissing me off is the fan. And we live in Arizona. Well, the hot part of Arizona, I should say. Right now it's actually nice though. It's sprinkling right now. <laughs> but I think the weather report said today was gonna be like 98, I think. Well, that's nice. That's nice for here. Like, it, it feel, this is basically fall. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah the fan I mean I hooked it all back together so the fan will turn on when it needs to but it's just I'm gonna have to keep giving it throttle if I'm at a light stoplight or whatever or city traffic and all that shit so I'm gonna have to keep giving it throttle so it doesn't die like stall everything else is fine go Sounds better, I drilled a, a few holes in each of the pipes.
guess there is another problem. <laughs> I think I need a new master cylinder for the clutch. It's weird whenever it heats up for some reason, then the catch is like way out here. And then if I gun it, it'll start slipping. I don't know why that is. <laughs> I rebuilt the slave cylinder. That was actually bad. See, it's like not really doing what it should be doing right now. I thought, I actually thought that that problem was fixed. Like, I thought it was fixed now, but just had that problem right now. So I have to ride it at like low RPMs and not too fast. I, I mean, I think it starts working after I, I really don't know what the is wrong with it, but there's pressure. It's weird because there's pressure in the clutch. I rebuilt the slave. I don't know. So I'm, I'm thinking I gotta probably rebuild the master. It should be good, I think, after that. Because I was having that problem before where I would have to bleed it for some reason and then it would start working. Didn't really make much sense. Yeah, like right now it's slipping if I really get on it. Let me try it. pumping the clutch. See what happens. It's getting tighter. I feel it clicking on the bottom where the slave is. It's probably gonna work now. Nope. <laughs> well, shit. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. The only thing I can think of is like something with the master. I drained all the shit out of it. I flushed the clutch, like the fluid, and it was black. It was pretty damn dirty. I flushed it completely. Like I went through a whole big thing almost of brake fluid. And then I put the new slave on, slave cylinder, bled it forever, <laughs> trying to get the shit um, air bubbles out. Oh shit. I don't know what I'm gonna do then. <laughs> I thought the clutch was fine. Guess it's good that I rode it before I sold it. Cause now I'm gonna have to figure out what the hell is wrong with it. It's gotta be this, I guess. Yeah, I don't wanna, it's gonna burn out my plates eventually. Cause I'm, it's like I'm riding with the clutch partially engaged. Yeah, I think I'm gonna order a new one of these, uh, Master. Probably do it tonight and then we'll see. Let's get some music going. And now my catch is like way up there. I can't ride it at high RPM either. That's staticky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Scooter. There's that asshole. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks. I can't really ride it. So I'm gonna probably. Shit right now. Damn it.